Now we'll see what is orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. Curvilinear coordinates are a coordinate system for Euclidean space in which the coordinate lines may be curved. These coordinates may be derived from a set of Cartesian coordinates by using a transformation that is locally inevitable at each point. This means that one can convert the point given in a Cartesian coordinate system to its curvilinear coordinate and back. Now you take a point P, it's a function of Q1, Q2, Q3 in the Cartesian coordinate system X, Y and Z. Here this P, it's a function of Q1, Q2, Q3 is a, a curvilinear coordinate. Here you are getting three different axes. Uh, three different surfaces in one in which Q1 is equal to constant and here it is Q2 is constant, here it is Q3 is constant. These three surfaces, new surfaces are uh, curved in nature and it is called coordinate surface or curved, curved linear surface. If it is orthogonal, then it is called, these coordinates are called orthogonal curved linear coordinates. So here this curvilinear surfaces intersect pairwise in, uh, along in three uh, curves. So these lines are called coordinate lines. So the tangent to the coordinate lines are called as coordinate axis. Suppose if you take any point P and it is identified by partition as well as curvilinear coordinates. If you take x, x is a function of q1, q2, q3. Similarly, y, you take it as y is a function of q1, q2, q3. And z is a function of q1, q2, q3. And similarly, you can write the curvilinear coordinate q1, q2, q3 as a function of Cartesian coordinate, that is x, y, and z. That is q1 is a function of x, y, and z. Q2 is a function of x, y, and z, and Q3 is a function of x, y, and z. Now, if you take a normal to the surface, that is that uh, Q1 is constant and Q2 is constant and Q3 is constant, that normal you take it as a basis in one case. When Q1 is constant, it is U1, and Q2 is constant, it is U2. That is a normal to the surface, that is the basis U2 vector. And Q3 is constant, uh, is U3, okay? So, uh, this, uh, because X is a function of Q1, Q2, Q3, you can write uh, dx is equal to dou x by dou q1 dq1 plus dou x by dou q2 dq2 plus dou x by dou q3 and dq3. Similarly, you can write dy and dz. Now you square of the distance, um, if you take the square of the distance between any two points, it is given by ds squared is equal to dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. So already in the previous slide, you have derived what is dx, dy and dz. Now if you square it, then you can get it is summation i, hij squared, dqi and dqj. Here that hij squared is dou x by dou qi and dou x by dou qj plus dou y by dou qi, dou y by dou qj plus dou z by dou qi and dou z by dou qj. So now suppose if you take orthogonal coordinates. So in that case i a is not equal to j. In that case hij is equal to 0. If it is um, parallel, that is i is equal to j, then in that case hij is equal to hij. So now you substitute this case, then you can write ds squared is equal to h1 dq1 the whole squared plus h2 dq2 the whole squared plus h3 dq3 the whole squared. Now if you take the distance between any two points of coordinate uh, line is called as a line element. So it is dsi is equal to hi and dqi. And here this h is a scalar uh, scale factor and q is a dimension of length. So if you take a surface element that is d capital S 
IJ that is equal to DSI and DSJ that is the line element. Two line elements along with I and J that is the substitute the value of DS and so it is HI, HJ, DQI and DQJ. Similarly for the volume element it is D tau is equal to DS1, DS2, DS3. So if you substitute the value then it is H1, H2, H3, DQ1, DQ2, DQ3. I will derive a differential operators for the curve linear coordinates. So in this curve linear coordinates, you take the scalar function as size of function of q1, q2, q3 and the vector function b which has the component b1, b2 and b3 which is along q1, q2 and q3. And u1, u2, u3 are the unit vector along q1, q2, q3. So the vector function b is equal to uh, u1 vector v1 plus u2 vector v2 plus u3 vector v3. Now we will derive how to find out that gradient. Gradient you know it's the maximum rate of change of the scalar function psi. And so if you take the component of grade psi or in the direction normal to the surface q1 is equal to constant that is in the direction of q1. So in that case del psi at uh, Mm, along this delta S1 tends to 0, that is limit delta S1 tends to 0, delta psi by delta S1 is equal to dou psi by dou S1. So now you substitute the value of S1, not DS1, so it is 1 by HI dou psi by dou Q1. So it is delta psi S1 is the difference in uh, length along the Q1. Finally, if you do it for uh, del psi along q2 and del psi along q3 then it is equal to 1 by h2 dou psi by dou q2 and it is equal to 1 by h3 and dou psi by dou q3. So if you substitute all this value del psi is equal to u1 vector divided by h1 dou psi by dou q1 plus u2 vector divided by h2 dou psi by dou q2 plus u3 vector divided by h3 dou psi by dou q3. So the del is u1 vector divided by h1 dou by dou q1 plus u2 vector by h2 dou by dou q2 plus u3 vector by h3 dou by dou q3. This is for a gradient. Now we will derive for divergence. So divergence del dot v is equal to del dot v you can already uh, you have written that is u1 vector v1 plus u2 vector v2 plus u3 vector v2. And um, here you are deriving this, uh, in order to find this, you are taking curl of u1 by h1. That is uh, del, del cross u1 by h1 is equal to, you know the value that is del of 1 by h1 in cross u1 plus 1 by h1 curl u1. So this is the formula. And uh, if you substitute uh, uh, 1 by q1 that is um, if you use the formula of equation 10 then is del q1 is equal to u1 vector by h1 that is dou q1 by dou q1 that is nothing but your u1 vector divided by h1. So this is your using equation 10 it is your uh, that is u1 vector by q1 you can write it as delta q1. We know that curl of a gradient q is equal to 0 that is the formula. So from the equation uh, 12 it is equal to 0. So we can write curl of u1 by h1 is equal to curl of del q1 that is equal to 0. So if you substitute in the previous equation, you can get u1 cross del of 1 by h1 is equal to 1 by h1 del cross u1, okay? So because a cross b is equal to minus of b cross a. So you can get this equation 14. And also use this uh, equation 10, del of 1 by h1 is equal to u1 vector by h1 dou by dou q1 of 1 by h1 plus u2 vector by h2 dou by dou q2 of 1 by h1 plus u3 by u3 vector by h3 dou by dou q3 of 1 by h1. So now if you differentiate this dou by dou q of 1 by 
H1, it is we can get it is um, H1 squared, H1 uh, power minus 2 dou H1 by dou Q1. Okay, so we are getting my U1 uh, vector divided by H1 cube dou H1 by dou Q2. So, so similarly, if you differentiate this, we can get the other two terms. So using this equation 15, then equation 14 becomes 1 by H1 of curl of U1 is equal to U1 into del of 1 by H1. So if you substitute the value of del of 1 by H1, we can get um, curl of U1 is equal to U2 vector divided by H3 H1 squared dou H1 by dou Q3 minus U3 vector by H2 H1 squared dou H1 by dou Q2. So in now if you apply the cyclic permutation for the coordinate, then we can get del of del cross of uh, curl of U2 is U3 vector divided by H1 H2 uh, divided by dou H2 by dou Q1 minus U1 vector divided by H3 H2 dou H2 by dou H Q3. So similarly you can get the other term also. So now you uh, take the equation using the equation 16, uh, del dot of u1 is equal to, instead of you can write u2 cross u3. So it is del dot u2 vector cross u3 vector. So it is uh, this del dot a cross b formula. So it is u3 vector dot curl of u2 minus u2 vector dot curl of u3. So you substitute the value value of del curl of u2 and curl of u3, then you can get del dot of u1 um, b1 is equal to v1 del dot u1 plus u1 vector dot del v1. So <clears throat> now using this value 17 and also this uh, del value, then the equation 18 becomes del dot u1 v is equal to v1 divided by h1 h2 h3 dou of h2 h3 divided by dou q1 plus 1 by h1 dou v1 by dou q1. So this is equal to, you can write it as 1 by h1 h2 h3 dou of v1 v h2 h3 divided by dou q1. So now if you differentiate this, we can get these two terms. So once again, if you apply the cyclic permutation, uh, we can get del dot u2 vector v2 and del dot u3 vector v3. So now you substitute all these uh, in the equation 11, we can get divergence of v is equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 dou v1 h2 h3 dou q1 plus dou of v2 h3 h1 dou q2 plus dou of v3 h1 h2 dou q3. So this is your divergence. Similarly for Laplacian, del dot of del psi. So already you have derived for gradient and also in the previous we have derived divergence. Now you apply this, then you can get it is 1 by H1, H2, H3, dou by dou Q1 of H2, H3 divided by H1, dou psi by dou Q1 plus dou by dou Q2, H3, H2, 1 by H2, dou psi by dou Q2 plus dou by dou q3, h1, h2 divided by h3, dou psi by dou q3. Now we will derive curl of, uh, that is del cross v. So you will substitute the value of v and uh, it is del cross of u1, v1 uh, is equal to v1 curl of u1 minus u1 cross del v1. So you know the value and you substitute, then you can get del cross of u1 v1 is equal to u2 vector 1 by h3 h1 dou of h1 v1 divided by dou q2 q3 minus u3 vector 1 by h2 h1 dou by dou h1 uh, dou h1 v1 divided by dou q2. So once again if you use the cyclic permutation and then you can get curl of v is equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 
uh, it is in H1 U1, H2 U2, H3 U3 and dou by dou Q1, dou by dou Q2, dou by dou Q3, uh, H1 V1, H2 V2 and H3 V3.